What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So we're out here at Penn's Creek. As you can tell from behind me, it's flooded, but we're tossing around a little North Branch Tackle Jig. Dude, we're getting on some chunks, some pretty big fish. But thank you for clicking this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment below, but let's get fishing. Well, as you can see, the creek is flooded. But I'm gonna toss around this North Branch Tackle Jig here. We've got a rage tail chunk on there. Let's see if we can find one that's pushed up against the bank. There we go, there's a the fish. Come here, bud. There we go. Feisty little guy. You even catch him in the flooded creeks too. Just like I said, just gotta work the banks. Cast shallow. Nice. Yeah, when creeks and rivers and everything start to flood, that fast current out there is not where the fish are usually going to be. They usually pull up off the current, close to the banks, try to get out of the current. Oh, dude, that one crushed it. Jeez, that is not a bad one. Dude, he hammered it. Jeez. Look at this guy. Come here, bud. Jeez. Wow, that was intense. This guy smashed it. Let's get him rinsed off real quick. Jeez. Absolutely choked that jig. Dude, this is a good fish. Dude, he walloped it. Look at that one. Look at that chunker. Like I said, flooded or not, you can still get on these fish. That is awesome. All right, we've got the scale here. Three, six. That's a good fish right there. Let's get a quick length with him. Coming in about 17 and a half. Dude, just a feisty guy, dude. He hammered it. Thanks for biting, bud. Said even the big ones are being, even the big ones are capable of being caught. Especially, like I said, high water, push up shallow. All right, well, let's keep on casting. See if we can get another one. Just gotta work that jig slow on the bottom. wait till you feel that bite in the trailer that I use I try to use something that I try to use something that has some flapping appendages like this I mean any beaver style or something like that something to get the water moving and I'm casting out there in the current and kind of let the current Swing my lord to the bank. There's one. Wow. He's right up against this barrel. Stay pinned, dude. Oh, this is a giant, too. Holy crap. Dude, slipping all over the mud. Just another freaking tank. Look at that, guys. I was just about to reel it up, and he was right along that barrel. 
like I said, these creeks and rivers flood and push up shallow. Look at that one. That is awesome. Dude, what an awesome day so far. Another three pounder. Wow. Look at that one. One last look. Beautiful fish. All right, thanks for biting, girl. That is awesome. I do want to make a couple more casts before we head out. That was awesome. Those are two awesome catches right there. I mean, three pounders out of the creek. That's a good day right there. It's good too if you can make like a mental note in your head of like where a big boulder is or where a log is in the water because I mean that structure is also areas where bass are gonna be hugged up against. I have a feeling there's more in this little cove area here. If you go back to my other videos where I'm fishing here, there's a, like an island out there. It's obviously covered now, but should be a nice little calm area for these fish to get out of this current. Yep, there's one. Doesn't feel bad. It's not a bad one. Another good one. Swam right up on the bank. All right, dude. Come here. Let's get my rinse. Got a little muddy. There we go. Another one. Like I said, it's really just about reading the water. Not a bad one. Heck yeah. Thanks for biting, bud. They're just wild whenever they eat it too. They're eating it and just like taking off running. There's one. Other one right up against the bank. That's another nice one too. They're just little scales of energy today. Jeez, a little bit smaller, but a good one. All right, thanks for biting, bud. Like I said, I casted it out, let the current kind of swing it around, and I worked it up the bank, and he was like five feet off the bank right there. I do the same thing, just cast it out there, let the current bring it around, and then bring it up the bank here and that's why it pays to pay attention when you're fishing different areas especially when the water's low that way when the water's high you can read it you can remember that hey you know there's a rock point that goes out here that I usually stand on and now it's covered so on the back side of that point it's gonna be a current break I get a lot of questions from people fishing different areas of what they should look for. It's really just about reading the water in your area. There's one. That's a nice one too. Sit on the back side of that point. Give me your blood. Again, another good one. One's super pale. This little jig here. Head up North Branch Tackle if you haven't. This one's purple and brown. Thanks for biting, bud. And like I said, I just have a little rage tail chunk on there. Also, if you use code VIN10, Save you ten percent on North Branch tackle. Oh, 
Oh, oh, lost them. There's another one right there. I'll readjust my trailer here. By the way, this is only an eighth ounce, so I'm using something pretty light. I don't like to use really heavy jigs. I don't like them digging in the bottom. I kind of like to have them float across the bottom so I can feel everything that's going on, whether it's a rock or a stick or a fish. There we go. Let's see if we can hook this fish. I don't know if it's the same one a bit twice. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some tips from it, something you can learn and take with you on your next fishing adventure. But yeah, when the water levels come up, just try to keep it close to the bank and use a lure that has some bulk to it. Something that also has some flapping appendages. As you can see, it works. But I appreciate you coming along on this adventure. I'll see you guys soon. Stay fishing, stay anchored.